If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team Coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And this morning, I have some really cool information for you, some important information for you, whether you're a standard Ultimate Team player, a competitive player, if you're trying to perform in Weekend League, if you're just doing solo battles, whatever. This is really important information, guys, and it has to do with zone coverage. A lot of us know from Madden 18 that there was such a thing as a threshold in Madden 18 in the zone coverage coverage attributes specifically there were other ones as well but the zone coverage one was the most important one and a lot of you guys know that the 91 zone rating itself was basically a threshold and what it did was that if you had 90 or below as your zone coverage your player did not perform very well but as soon as you hit 91 for zone coverage suddenly your player performed substantially better and it basically was the same as maybe slight variance but very very much the same between a 91 all the way up to a 99 and what i have for you guys today is some information coming from the mutt leaks Twitter account. Now, this is mutt underscore leaks 19 on Twitter. I will leave a link to that Twitter account in the description below so you guys can go follow them. But the point is basically that they're putting out great information, guys. I want you to go over there, follow them so that you guys can get this stuff as soon as it comes out and reap the benefits of being somebody that follows this account. Um, so today, they actually went into the game code itself and found some really interesting information that uh, we believe will actually give us some threshold information information specifically regarding zone coverage so I'm gonna get show you guys kind of what they had uh, you can see on your screen there the tweet that they put out they put the actual game code in there as well but I'm gonna kind of try and break it down for you guys in a little bit more of layman's terms so you guys can get the information that you need from this uh, without needing to learn about the intricate details of it basically so uh, right now we're going to take a look at the players that are 79 and below in zone coverage now what you see below that is a hundred percent of max time delay so basically what that means is that once the quarterback releases the ball when they're throwing, once they complete their throwing motion and the ball is away from their hand, your player is going to be actually reacting to that. So what you want, obviously, is you want your player to start actually reacting to that as soon as possible. So the higher your max time delay is, the slower that your player is going to react. So you see they're 100%, meaning that basically anyone that's 79 or below is going to perform the exact same in zone coverage in terms of how they react to the ball. So what that basically tells us is that there is essentially no difference between someone that has a 57 zone coverage rating and a 79 zone coverage rating. Now, most cornerbacks are going to have above 79 in zone coverage, but not all of them will. But the big thing for us is linebackers because uh, not a lot of linebackers are going to have above 79, at least at this point, in zone coverage. So we want to try and find the guys that we can that have an 80 or above. As soon as those players start to come out, we want to try and acquire those for our pass coverage linebackers. So, and again, we'll take a look at the additional tiering as far as how these uh, thresholds are breaking down. But essentially, the point here is that 79 and below is going to react very much the same and it's going to be 100% of the max time delay meaning that they're going to react at the slowest possible rate that is coded into the game so now when we go over and we take a look at the next set which are players that are 80 to 89 overall or not overall excuse me 80 to 89 in their zone coverage rating those players are reacting at a 60% max time delay so that means that they're going to be reacting roughly 40% quicker. So that is very, very important. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to just automatically get interceptions or anything like that, but it is a very, very interesting thing because we want to make sure that uh, we're understanding essentially that there's not much of a difference between an 80 zone coverage player and an 89 zone coverage player. They're basically the same. There might be just a really slight detailed difference 
but you're not going to see much of a difference between somebody that's got an 80 to an 89. However, you will see a substantial difference in the performance of a player that has an 80 zone coverage rating versus a 79 zone coverage rating. So that is something that you want to keep in mind. If you guys are looking for cheap cornerbacks, find somebody that has an 80 zone coverage rating because if you play them in zone coverage, they're going to be able to react on the ball more quickly. And that is extremely, extremely important. So now let's take a look at the next set of uh, zone coverage rating, and that is going to be the players that are 90 to 98. Now, they're going to react at a 10% max time delay. So that means, again, we're seeing a big jump between players that are 89 to 90. So that's another threshold. You see that uh, the players that are 80 to 89 to 90 are going to play, again, substantially differently from one another. However, the players that are between 90 to 98 in zone coverage, they're basically going to play pretty much the same as far as reacting to the ball. And that's basically what zone coverage is in Madden. There's not really better coverage as far as zones go. Everybody pretty much actually literally plays their zone essentially the same, but the way that they react to the ball is different. So in Madden, what we're looking for is players to react to the ball and get there either to get an interception or to swat it away or even just to make contact with the receiver more quickly. And so as soon as the ball touches the receiver's hands, they're making contact and then you're getting that animation to knock it away and things like that. Or the player is just going to naturally drop it because you're close, things like that. So all that stuff is very, very important. Again, 10% of max time delay on this, meaning that this player is going to react 10 times faster than a player that has 79 and below. Uh, so again, very, very important. Um, and we really, really want to make sure that those players that are 89, we're not paying up for them. We want to pay up for the guys that have 90 or we want to tier them up to 90. But once they get to that 90, there's not really a huge advantage to to power those players up or you know pay up for a guy that's got 93 zone coverage as opposed to a 90 zone coverage. There's not going to be much of a difference. Now, they might have other attributes that are, you know, pretty important, but if, if all things are equal and they have one guy has a 98 or 97 for zone coverage and another guy has a 90, if every other attribute that they have is the same, you don't want to pay more for that guy. You want to get the cheaper guy. So keep that in mind as you're looking through these players, guys. Don't overpay for things that don't make a difference on the field. I say this every year, and every single year I see cards that are not really any better in certain attributes, uh, or are better in certain attributes, I should say, but it doesn't really matter. Those attributes are, are not going to make much of a difference for you, and those guys are still going for such an expensive amount. Now, the last thing that I want to show you guys here, there is a new tier. For Madden 19 Ultimate Team, we've we've seen these tiers before, where we saw that uh, again the guys that were a 91 or above, and that meant all the way from 91 to 99 zone coverage last year were exactly the same. However, you notice on your screen right now, 90 to 98 is what I have on there. That means that there is an additional threshold here at the 99 rating attribute. So anybody that is at a 99 is basically going to react to the ball instantly. And that can be extremely important. Now, in Ultimate Team, as of the time of this video being created, I don't believe there are any cards that you can get up to a 99 zone coverage. However, you can go into practice mode, you can practice this thing, you can go into a standard head-to-head -head game uh, with regular rosters, and you can get your player to have 99 zone if you change the, the roster, um, uh, you know, to go in and edit player on the roster and then go and actually test this out. But you're going to see the players that have 99 zone coverage are going to react to the ball much more quickly than players players that have even a 98 for zone coverage. So if you get up to a 98 in zone coverage, if you can tear them up to it to get to that 99, you definitely want to do it because that player is going to play substantially better for you when the ball is in the air. So hopefully that is some good information for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be trying to get you guys as much of this type of information as I can as it comes out. Uh, the Mutt, links, or Mutt Leaks, I should say, Twitter account, again, will be in the description of this video. So make sure you go on over there, check that out, give them a follow. And uh, again, I will try to give you guys this information in as much of a layman's terms type of thing as I can as we go on here because I, I think it's very important information. There are other ones as well that I will try and get to as soon as possible. But this one, I think, can be a difference maker for you right away. So again, guys, make sure you look at these thresholds. Make sure that you're getting players that are at the bottom of the threshold and not paying up for the guys that are at the top of the threshold. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.